The AS-21 Redback Infantry Fighting Vehicle, developed by Hanwha Defence Australia for the Australian Army, represents a significant leap forward in armoured warfare capabilities, particularly in its anti-tank weapon systems. Selected as the preferred platform for the Land 400 Phase 3 program, the Redback is set to replace the aging M130 AS-4 armoured personnel carriers with a modern, versatile vehicle designed to counter contemporary battlefield threats. With delivery scheduled to commence in early 2027 and conclude by late 2028, the Redback's integration of advanced anti-tank weaponry, including the Raphael Spike LR2 missile system, optional Javelin missiles, and the Mark 44S Bushmaster II 30mm cannon, positions it as a formidable asset for the Australian Defence Force. The cornerstone of the Redback's anti-tank arsenal is the Raphael Spike LR2 anti-tank guided missile, a third-generation fire-and-forget missile system integrated into the vehicle's electro-optic system's T2000 turret based on Elbit's MT-30 Mech-2 design. The Redback is equipped with a launcher capable of carrying two Spike LR2 missiles, each with a range of up to 5.5 kilometers and a penetration capability of approximately 700 to 1,000 millimeters of rolled homogeneous armor. This allows the Redback to engage and defeat modern main battle tanks and heavily armored vehicles at extended ranges, providing a critical edge in high-intensity conflicts. The Spike LR2's advanced guidance system, which includes electro-optical and infrared seekers, ensures high accuracy even in adverse conditions while its fire-and-forget capability allows the crew to engage multiple targets rapidly without maintaining a line-of-sight lock. Successful test firings conducted in early 2021 at Puckapunyal Military Area, Victoria, demonstrated the missile's seamless integration with the Redback's fire control system, confirming its reliability and lethality. The Spike LR2's versatility including its ability to engage targets in direct or top attack modes, makes it a cornerstone of the Redback's offensive capabilities, enabling it to neutralize a wide range of armored threats. In addition to the Spike LR2, the Redback offers the option to integrate the FGM-148 Javelin anti-tank guided missile, further enhancing its anti-tank flexibility. The Javelin, a fire and forget missile with a range of up to 2.5 kilometers, is designed to defeat armored vehicles, including those equipped with reactive armor, through its tandem high-explosive anti-tank warhead. The missile can be mounted on the Redback's EOS R400S Men-K2 HD or R150 remote weapon system, providing commanders with the ability to tailor the vehicle's armament to specific mission requirements. The Javelin's top attack profile, which targets the thinner armor on the tops of tanks, complements the Spike LR2's capabilities, offering a dual-threat approach to anti-tank warfare. While the Javelin is not a standard feature on all Redback vehicles, its potential inclusion underscores Hanwha's commitment to providing a modular platform that can adapt to evolving battlefield needs. This flexibility ensures that the Redback remains relevant against emerging armored threats, particularly in the Indo-Pacific region, where Australia's strategic focus is increasingly centered. Supporting its missile systems, the Redback is equipped with the MEMC 44S Bushmaster II 30mm cannon, a versatile weapon that, while primarily designed for engaging lighter vehicles, infantry, and fortifications, contributes to its anti-tank role through advanced munitions. The cannon, integrated into the EOS T2000 turret, is capable of firing all types of 30 mm by 173 mm ammunition in service with 19 nations, including armor piercing stabilized discarding sabot rounds and programmable airburst munitions. These rounds enhance the Redback's ability to engage lightly armored vehicles and, in certain scenarios, provide a secondary anti tank capability when combined with the vehicle's advanced fire control system. The cannon's high rate of fire and precision, supported by a fire control system capable of detecting targets at 6,000 meters and identifying them at 3,000 meters, ensures effective engagement of threats at various ranges. 
The use of proximity fused rounds further enhances the Redback's versatility, allowing it to counter infantry operating anti-tank weapons, a critical consideration in modern hybrid warfare environments. The Redback's anti-tank capabilities are bolstered by its integration of the Elbit Iron Fist Active Protection System, a hard-kill countermeasure designed to intercept incoming anti-tank missiles and rocket-propelled grenades. Successfully demonstrated in late 2020, the Iron Fist APS uses radar and infrared sensors to detect threats, deploying interceptors to neutralize them before impact. This system significantly enhances the Redback's survivability against anti-tank threats, allowing it to operate in contested environments where enemy forces may employ similar ATGM systems. The APS is particularly relevant given the proliferation of advanced anti-tank weapons in the Indo-Pacific, ensuring that the Redback can withstand attacks while maintaining its offensive capabilities. Additionally, the Elbit Iron Vision System, a helmet-mounted display providing 360-degree situational awareness, enables the crew to detect and engage threats rapidly, further enhancing the effectiveness of its anti-tank weaponry. The Redback's anti-tank systems are part of a broader modernization effort under the LAN 400 Phase 3 program, which will see Hanwha Defense Australia deliver 129 Redback IFVs to the Australian Army. Manufactured at the Hanwha Armoured Vehicles Centre of Excellence in Geelong, Victoria, the Redback is tailored to meet Australia's strategic needs, particularly in literal manoeuvre operations as outlined in the 2023 Defence Strategic Review. The vehicle's advanced fire control and sensor suite, combined with its anti-tank weaponry, ensures it can operate effectively in complex, multi-domain battlefields. Trials conducted in 2022 by the Republic of Korea Army further validated the Redback systems integration, highlighting its potential for export and interoperability with allied forces. Posts on X have speculated about a potential Redback 2.0 upgrade, though no confirmed details suggest changes to the anti-tank system specifically. However, such discussions underscore the platform's adaptability and potential for future enhancements. Strategically, the Redback's anti-tank capabilities align with Australia's need to counter modern armoured threats in the Indo-Pacific, where regional powers are increasingly investing in advanced tanks and IFVs. The Spike LR2 and optional Javelin missiles provide the ADF with the ability to engage high-value targets at extended ranges, while the Mech-44S Bushmaster II and Iron Fist APS ensure versatility and survivability. As the Australian Army prepares for the Redback's introduction in 2027, its anti-tank systems will play a pivotal role in enhancing combat effectiveness, deterring aggression, and supporting coalition operations. The Redback's combination of cutting-edge technology, modular design, and robust anti-tank capabilities positions it as a cornerstone of Australia's armoured forces, ready to meet the challenges of 21st century warfare.